All right, hi first graders, happy Thursday. So like what we talked about yesterday in our Google Meet, I'm going to do a directed drawing of a llama. So this one's just a little bit harder, so I want you to make sure you're paying really good attention. You're gonna need a piece of paper, you're gonna need your pencil, and you're gonna need whatever you want to color with. You can use um, paint if you have it. I saw one that was painted and it was really cute. Or you can do um, crayons or colored pencils or even markers. All right, let's get started. Okay, so I want you to kind of look at your paper. We don't want a really small llama, or we don't want a llama with a really big head and a small body. So remember, we have to talk about placing it right and making sure that it's the right size. So if this is my paper, I'm going to do its face right about here, and then its body is going to come down. So to start off, we're going to start with its face and its nose, and we're going to do a C-shaped nose. So I'm going to come right about here. making the top just a little bit longer, okay? Can you see how this went a little longer than the bottom? So I want you guys to do a C. And then when you're done with that, we're gonna take the bottom line and we're gonna go down and we are going to make its neck. And then the front of its body. One second, just gonna pull this up really fast. Okay, now the next thing that we are going to do is we're gonna come up right about here. And I'm gonna kind of give it a little bit of a point. So if you have your pencil, you can kind of erase it and fix it so it looks like that. And then it's going to come right down. I'm using a marker, so that's not very smart, but if I had my pencil, then I could kind of fix my lines and make them look straight. It's going to come down, and it's going to come down a little bit longer than this line right here. Can you kind of see it starting to take shape? And then we're going to go across, and we're going to go down, and this is going to be its back. All right, do you guys kind of see it now? All right, the next thing that we're gonna do to our llama is we're going to add some ears, and our ears are gonna be up here at the top, and we're going to add two. So I'm gonna come here, and the first one is gonna kind of angle up. And all that I did was do kind of like an eye shape, a circle that's kind of stretched out. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the next one, and I'm going to go up. There's my llama ears. And inside of the ears, I'm going to add another little outline so it can look like the skin or the fur and then the inside of the ear. And how I do that is I do the same shape. I just leave a little bit of an outline here and leave more in the center. So that would be the inside of the ear and that would be the outside. I'm going to do the neck sort of here. So when I color this, I would color this outside part right here the same color as my llama, and I would color the inside like a pink color. All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make its nose. And its nose is going to be kind of higher up here. It's just going to come like that, kind of like a little bit of a V shape. And then if you want, you can do a little tail so it almost looks like a Y. So there's the nose. And then the eyes I'm going to do up here. So here's the neck. I'm going to kind of come up and I'm going to do the eye right about here. And for the eye, I'm just going to do a smiley face. And then I'm going to add a couple little eyelashes. <gasps> See our llama? It's getting cuter and cuter, isn't it? Okay. Right here, I'm gonna add like a little strap, and we're gonna add like a little blanket on him too. So we're gonna come here, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do two little curved lines. So watch this. Okay, and you could color this whatever color you wanted. This wouldn't be the color of a skin, this is extra. And we're gonna add some little necklaces. I know they're not necklaces, they're just little decorations we're gonna add on the neck. We're going to add two. So the first one will come right across the top. 
you can make them thinner or thicker, however long you've made that neck. And then we can add one more. And then we could color these different colors too. And I'm going to add some cute little tassels on this. So boys, if you don't want to do this, you don't have to. If you want to, you can. Girls, if you don't want to, you don't have to. You can add whatever you want. But I think these little tassels are cute. And all that I did was one, two, three. So I did like a capital A, and then I added a line down the center. So watch again. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Kind of give it a little bit of something fun right there. Okay, so we've got this so far, right? The last thing that we're going to do is we're going to do the blanket, and then I'll show you some background. So with the blanket, what we're going to do, or the saddle, whatever you want to call it, we're going to do U's. So the first one, I want to look in between these lines, and I want to go into the center and figure I want a smaller blanket, and then a bigger blanket, and then a bigger blanket. So there would be my first one. It was just going to be a smaller one. And then I'm going to add another line that's a little bit bigger. And then my very last one will be the biggest one. And now I want to spice it up a little and make it look a little cuter. So along this outside one, I'm going to do some more tassels. So these are just the three lines, the capital A with the line through it, capital A with the line through it. Okay, and then, like, like I said, you can personalize these however you want. I'm just giving you some ideas. So if you want to do exactly like me, that's fine. If you have something else that you think is really cute, you can do that to personalize it. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of a ruffle right around this center one. So watch this one. All that this is is those little bubbles. We've done this before. Kind of changes it and makes it a little bit more exciting, doesn't it? All right, you guys. Well, that's the end of our llama. Um, I'm going to pretend that this is the bottom of my paper. So if I was drawing, I would have done I would have done my llama all the way to the bottom of my paper. So you don't have to do any legs or anything with this llama. We can pretend it's laying down. Um, but to make it fun, you can do a different background. Maybe you want to do some trees, or maybe you want to do hearts. So you could add some hearts around it, or maybe you want to do some cute flowers, or maybe you want to do clouds, or like we said, a tree. You could have like a tree far in the background. This is completely up to you. You can do whatever you want to personalize it. And if I was to color it, just to give you some ideas, I could do my llama a light brown or a gray. And remember, this part right here, this is going to be the color you do your llama, and then the inside would be a color. So let's see. Let's say I did light gray. I could color the outside gray, and then I'd color my llama all gray, and then I would color this a fun color. Maybe I wanted to do purple. Strap could be purple, and then I could add a purple necklace or purple here, and then I could add lots of different colors um, with my saddle for my blanket. And then you can color your background however you want. Okay, I hope you guys liked this direct drawing. If um, if you have time to do the llama, I want you to send a picture to Mrs. Meekum so that I can see it. I'm really excited to your drawings. You could even put a cute saying that has llama in it. There's lots of fun things that you can do with this. Okay guys, I'll see you next week.